Welcome back to Riviera RC and today we're going to go through the decals which were talked about when we went and had a look at the FMS FJ40s the other day. Um, if you go back and have a look at the other video you will see us talking about these two Jeeps. Um, Wild Creek Graphics, they have a new venture and it is the RC decals and the one that they've chosen to do first are the decals for the FJ40, the FMS. So I will bring you over and we will have a closer look at what Dave was sent and what I was sent. So I shall bring you closer and we'll have a look. So Dave has um, kindly lent me this to do, uh, to do this update video for him. And uh, as you can see, he's got the decals on the side. They come in, I uh, think it's 13 different color combinations. You get all the side details, even it shows you where to cut it to come in around the petrol cap. Now, apparently this does lift out. Dave told me that you go directly upwards with it and it comes out so you can put these decals in. Obviously they've then got, oh, Dave's done a few, uh, that's so heavy. Um, he's got the trio wheels on his and they look an absolute beast. I am very, very tempted myself. Um, also got the same on the other side. Um, Dave's got his own custom, custom decal on the bonnet, but you do get bonnet stripes that go in as well. So what we'll do is I'll lay out what Dave got and then I'll lay out what I got and I will show you the various decals and the different colours. So here you go. This is everything that Dave got. So the Wild, the Wild Creek graphics. There is, I will put a link in. That's not focus. There you go. So it's wildcreekgraphics.com.au. Go and have a look. They do loads of other decals as well and stickers and whatnot, which you can see here. But um, that's the one that Dave hasn't used from his bonnet. Now, one thing that does come with all of the kits, which I think is good, is if you want to take the roof rack off, they even come with hole covers for the roof of it. So it doesn't matter what, uh, what pack you get, you get the roof hole covers. So these are the colours that Dave got extras as a bonus in his little package when he uh, ordered them. So what I'm going to do now is I shall go through all of mine. Yeah, so I ordered the blue set. I was a bit torn as to whether to go for the blue set or the black set. Um, and unbeknown to me, Tina at Wild Creek Graphics Thank you very much. They've sent me the blue and then the blue with the yellow, which I'm kind of liking as well. You can see another truck appearing, so I've got the decals to put on. But talking of the decals, you can get some that are extremely thin, but you can get those that I've had them that are way too thick and they don't go around the contours of the body, etc. These and Dave has told me, because he's put his on, these are fairly, fairly thin. So they should, when you heat them up, if you need to, to go into the little indents where the door lines and whatever are, they're a good, good quality. Very nice indeed. So I got all of these, and Tina, if you're watching, this you wouldn't know but my other passion is barbecuing so that is absolutely brilliant thank you very much so yes very 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 happy with this purchase and i can't wait to get the decals on i don't know which one to go for see decisions never any good with those unless it's paying uh clicking on buy it now straight away um yeah so let me know in the comments, what do you reckon? Which ones would you go for on the blue body? 
Yeah. Right. We shall bring the trucks back up and uh, we will wrap this video up. So there you go. If you're in the uh, in the market for some nice retro uh, period looking dec decals or decals, whichever way you want to say it, check out Wild Creek Graphics. I'm going to put the link in the description down below. Um, but on the note of the FMS, if you've got them and you're going to be out on the trail and whatnot, obviously we're only going to be doing light trailing. But if you are going to be going a bit heavier, the mirrors, it's worth putting a little bit of glue in because um, they will pop off. And the same with the front lights because they do, and this is Dave, so I'm not going to pull it, but they do pop out. So a little bit of shoe goo or E6000 or whatever it is, um, just, just to put in. You could even smear it in underneath where the little lugs come out. So that will hold it. Um, yeah. I'm looking forward to getting out. We can have these two, and hopefully Andy's, um, he's got uh, the Willys Jeep, which I think was the Rock Hobbies, but it's basically the same chassis. So we should be doing some fairly realistic crawling, trailing, etc. So there you go. Yeah. Check out their website and see if you, and pick a colour because I couldn't. Right, take care, guys. Um, it'll be a couple of days now before I get another video out. And uh, yeah, take care. See you later. Cheers. <laughs>